Are you thinking about making the switch to a fresh dog food brand, but you can't decide between the farmer's dog and Ollie? During my research on the best dog food delivery companies in the USA, I came across the farmer's dog and Ollie, and I placed orders with both companies and I tested out their fresh dog food on my picky Alaskan Klikai dogs, Sky and Copper. My name is Kieran and I'm one part of Life with Klikai. In this video, I am going to be taking a look at the farmer's dog and Ollie, sharing what similarities they have, sharing the differences and also giving my overall verdict on which of these two dog food brands I believe is the best based upon my experience testing them out on my dogs Sky and Copper. Before I get started I just want to make sure that you know that this is not a sponsored video. I have not been paid by the farmer's dog or Ollie to create this piece of content. If you do click any of the links in this video or in the description below we may make a small commission. I also want to point out that I'm not a vet, a veterinary nutritionist or a dog expert and I'm just filming this video based upon my own experience with my dogs as a pet owner and as a reviewer of dog food for the past seven years. If you've already decided that you want to sign up to the Farmer's Dog or Ollie, then head to the description now and you can find the best and latest offers that I have for both of these dog food companies. But with that out of the way, let's get started. So when looking at the Farmer's Dog and Ollie and what similarities they have, the first thing that I would say about both of these dog food companies is that they use human grade ingredients in their recipes. So that's natural and healthy food that you and I will likely recognize and perhaps even eat as part of our own daily diet. They both have used vet nutritionists to create and formulate their recipes to make sure they're balanced and complete and ensure that your dog is getting all the daily nutrition that they need to live an active and happy lifestyle by your side. Now both Ollie and the Farmer's Dog offer customized meal plans, which is important if you are going to sign up to a dog food subscription service if you're going to be paying a little bit extra than regular dog food, you want to know that they are going to the effort of actually tailoring their recipes to meet your dog's specific needs. The third similarity that Ollie and the farmer's dog have in common is that they actually have four fresh food recipes. So I'm talking about home cooked style meals that the farmer's dog and Ollie have created. So these are typically meals that you're going to have to store in your freezer and defrost on packages in your fridge and then serve direct to your dog. As someone with a picky eater, I think four recipes is decent variety. Although it could be better, I have previously discussed how other dog food brands that I used to use in the UK have over 10 different recipes, which was great for a picky eater like Sky. But the Ollie and the Farmer's Dog both offer four fresh food recipes. So those are the three standout similarities that they have in common when I was reviewing and testing out their dog food. But if you're watching this video, you're probably going to find the differences more interesting and perhaps more compelling when it comes to making a decision between these two fresh dog food brands. So let's move on to the differences. What I'm going to do is break it into two sections. I'm going to take a look at what the farmer's dog does better than Ollie, and then I'm going to reverse it and take a look at what Ollie does better than the farmer's dog. So let's start with what the farmer's dog does better than Ollie. So if you are making a switch to fresh dog food, one thing that you're going to need to keep in mind is that it is going to cost more than your traditional pet food that you'd find at your local supermarket or your pet store. So you need to factor that into your budget. Having said that, the Farmer's Dog is by far the cheapest of all the fresh dog food brands that I've reviewed. At this stage, I've been back in the US for almost a year and I've reviewed around eight to 10 different fresh dog food brands as part of my work and as part of this YouTube account. And I found that the Farmer's Dog is significantly cheaper than most of the fresh dog food brands that I have reviewed. So for a 30 day price, my Farmer's Dog subscription worked out at $153.90. That's the fee both Sky and Copper, the Farmer's Dog. However, when I signed up to Oni, their dog food cost me nearly $220 a month. So that's a difference of almost $70 a month. And if you do the quick math, we're talking about nearly 850 pounds over the course of a year. That's a significant saving. So that is my first big difference in favor of the farmer's dog. The next thing that really stood out to me and that impressed me was the fact that the farmer's dog used pre-portion guidelines on the front of their packaging. This shows you how much of the packet you should feed your dog at each meal time. So it's a great guide to make sure that you're not overfeeding or underfeeding your dog. Now, I haven't seen that with most of our fresh dog food brands that I reviewed. There is one of a brand that does do this, but the Farmer's Dog, I believe, does the better job of actually showing the pre-portion guideline on the front of their meal packets. Another thing that I really liked about the Farmer's Dog is the fact that they actually labeled Sky and Copper's meals individually. Now, when I've previously used pretty much every single fresh dog food company, whether it's been in the UK or in the US, they never actually label Sky and Copper's meals. Which I find interesting because if you are signing up to a customized meal plan and you're filling in details about each of your dogs and your dogs have different weight goals, which is certainly the case with Sky and Copper because Copper needs to lose a bit of weight and Sky needs to gain a bit of weight. I want to know that the meal packets I'm feeding them are actually tailored to their specific needs. It's a small detail, but it's something that shows that they are paying attention to the small details. If you've typically fed dry food or canned food that can be stored in your cupboard or a dry place, 
then you'll have to get used to actually storing these type of fresh dog food meals in your fridge and in your freezer. What I like about the Farmer's Dog is that their meal packets are very easy to stack. They're also very space efficient. And because of the shape, I was easily able to stack them in my freezer. What I also like is the fact that in each meal pouch, you have typically at least five or six meals in a meal pouch. What I also like about the Farmer's Dog is that they show how much you need to feed at each meal time. And typically a meal pouch will last you a couple of days. So you need to have less meal pouches in your fridge. So it was definitely more space efficient and I didn't have to have loads of meal packets defrosting in my fridge taking up space. Finally, the big difference with the farmer's dog compared to Ollie was the fact that my picky eater Sky really loved the farmer's dog and she happily finished all her farmer's dog meals and that was a big bonus to me. If you're familiar with our channel, you know that Sky has been a fussy and picky eater in the past. So the fact that she finished her farmer's dog food was a big indicator that their meals are really tasty and full of flavor. So those are the differences that were in favor of the farmer's dog. Now let's take a look at what Ollie does better than the farmer's dog. So when I was testing out Ollie, there was two areas where I felt like they really excelled. The first is the fact they don't just offer fresh dog food. They actually offer baked recipes too. So if you want to give your dog a different texture at mealtime, you can also use baked food on top of the fresh dog food and combine them both. And by doing this, they've actually added two more recipes to their overall selections. You can pick from two baked recipes and four fresh food recipes and then combine them. You may find that if your dog has typically eaten dry dog food, then perhaps combining fresh food with Ollie's dry food will actually help transition your dog onto Ollie overall. The second thing that I really liked is the fact that Ollie do provide a meal container and a scooper. Now it's important to point out that the scooper is not pre-portioned, so it's not a scooper that you can use to scoop out the correct portion out of the meal packet or out of the meal container when you are getting your dog's food and putting it in the bowl. What I like about the meal container is that there's nothing worse than having half open fresh dog food meal packets in your fridge creating a bit of a mess. So I would love that I could actually store all these half open packets back in the meal container or just completely empty the meal packet and put it all in the meal container and then there was no mess or contamination in my fridge. So those were the two areas where I felt like Ollie excelled. What is my overall verdict? So overall, based upon my experience trying both the farmer's dog and Ollie, I would personally recommend the farmer's dog if you do have a picky eater and you're looking to introduce a fresh dog food format to their diet after using kibble or wet food in the past. The biggest factor for me is the fact that Sky and Copper visibly enjoyed the farmer's dog more than Ollie. So that's why I would recommend them if you do have a picky eater. But there was also some other factors like I've already mentioned. The fact that each dog had their own meal packets labeled. So that gave me confidence that their meals were truly tailored to help them meet their weight goals. I like the fact that they also had that pre-portioned guideline on the meal packet. So I knew how much to feed at each meal time. And I also like the fact that they're one of the more affordable fresh dog food brands of all the ones that I've reviewed. So if you are planning to switch from traditional dog food to fresh dog food, then like I said, be prepared because it will cost you more. But the farmer's dog is a good entry point. And if you're just starting with this particular pet food format, they could be a good place to start because they are the most affordable of all the ones I have reviewed. Having said that, if you've watched this video and you do decide to give Ollie a try, I don't think you're going wrong either. They also do a great job at fresh dog food and baked dog food. And perhaps you would like to combine the two different pet food formats to help keep your picky eater motivated at mealtime. But overall, my recommendation would be the farmer's dog, but that's just based upon my own personal experience with my dogs. Yours could be different. So there we have it. We've reached the end of my Ollie and the farmer's dog comparison video. My recommendation was the farmer's dog. And if you do want to give the farmer's dog a try, you can save 50% on your first order. You can find the link to that in this video or in the description below. We'll also keep the description updated with the best and latest offer that we have for Ollie if you decide that you would like to try Ollie rather than the farmer's dog. If you have tried the farmer's dog or Ollie, or you're currently feeding the farmer's dog or Ollie, why not let other viewers know how you're getting on with your dog in the description below? Because at the end of the day, every dog is different. And like I said, perhaps your picky eater will enjoy a different dog food brand than my Klikai over here. And if you'd like to see me actually taste test the food and see Sky and Copper taste test the food, then I'll also pop a link to that video here. But that's all from me and I'll see you in the next video.